Radio Giornale Bellunese, now airing. Daily news from the Belluno province. Welcome to a new edition of the Radio Giornale Bellunese. These are the news from today, September 15th, 2022. In grave conditions, an 83-year-old from Santa Giustina that was looking for mushrooms. The man fell down a scarp for over 20 meters near San Vittore Veses. Rescuers arrived to bring him to Federer's hospital. He is fortunately not at risk of life. In a night between Tuesday and Wednesday, an intervention was necessary for two German tourists who had gotten stuck on the Civetta. The two had found themselves out of the beaten path at night without any lights. The rescuers accompanied them back to the lodge. Signatures against the bobsleigh track in Cortina for the 2026 Olympics. 1,185 were gathered for the letter that will be sent to the CIO president, Thomas Bach. The citizens ask that the decision to build a track be reconsidered, as it is not sustainable from an economical and environmental perspective. This initiative was started by the Comitato Civico Cortina. Vaccine campaign. As of now, around 40 people received the new bivalent vaccine in Belluno. 200 more those who have made a reservation. From the 3rd of October, Salce's new Western Center, which was one Dolomiti received for the three years from Effegi SRL and EMC di Giacomini DNC SAS, will be operational. Other than Covid, vaccination will also be offered for HPV, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, TBE and influenza. Passing to sports, football, Serie D. Dolomiti Bellunesi will play on Saturday at Feltres Junitauro Stadium against Tor Viscosa, hoping to redeem itself for the two consecutive defeats. On the same day, Fiori Park Mass and Logarone Alpina will play against each other for the Promozione Derby. On Sunday, the debut of the women's team of Dolomiti Bellunesi. The game of the first turn of Coppa Italia will take place in Pian Longhi at 15.30 against Sarone Caneva. The Belluno Feltre run was cancelled. The number of participants was too low, only 100 at two weeks before the event. And that is all for today's edition. We wish you a nice day in the company of Radio BM, the Bellunese del Mondo Association's web radio. You just listened to Radio Giornale Bellunese, daily news from the Belluno province.